Would be intruder shot and killed in West Mobile, and it happened with children in the home sleeping. WKRG News 5 Shimani Baker joins us in studio. And Shimani, you spoke exclusively with the people who live in the home, including the man who shot the suspect. That's right, I did. And we're not showing their faces or revealing their names because they are scared of retaliation. The couple is still shaken up by what happened, but they believe they did what was necessary to protect their family. We didn't know what was going on, so it was very, very, very traumatic. What was a regular night for a couple at this home on West Rachel Drive turned deadly after police say someone tried to break into their home. We were just laying in bed watching TV and watching a Netflix show. A lady, was, her house was getting broken into. Next thing they knew, so was theirs. The couple told us they heard something fall. At first they ignored it until they heard a tapping noise and their window shattered. The wife says she hit the floor and the husband went to check everything out. The person was trying to cut, they was coming in through the window, so he shot him. We were more stunned about yeah. anything, but once we kept him out the house, we were okay. The wife says she called 911 and went to make sure her sleeping children were okay. I felt like it wasn't real. I was pinching myself because I thought I was like dreaming. Well, Bill police showed up to investigate. They say the suspect, 31-year-old Ryan Terrell, later died at the hospital. I was just shocked, and I'm still shocked, and I'm hurt, and it's just, I don't know. It's crazy, and I just feel afraid for my kids. That's all. The couple says they hate they had to take matters into their own hands, but their message is... First of all, don't break into people's houses. <laughs> Second of all, yeah. keep protection. For sure, protect yourself, protect your family, because we are. Alabama does have a stand your ground law. Police say they don't plan to charge the couple with anything at this time. Investigators will be handing over their evidence to the district attorney's office. Live in studio, Shimani Baker, WKRG News 5.